Today I'm going to show you how to use the basics of Tinkercad. When you first open up a project, this is the view you'll get with an empty work plane. The first and most important thing that you need to learn is how to actually rotate the plane so that you can see it from different angles. Because when you're making a 3D design, you don't want just to see it from this view. The easiest way is to just go onto this cube up here and click different parts of it, and you'll see the plane rotate. It's empty right now, but when we've got something on there, it'll show some more. You can also hold down the mouse and rotate the cube to the desired view that you have. Over here on this side is where you can use your shapes. You can select from a variety of different sets, but we're just going to use basic shapes today because we don't need to go into anything fancy. To use a shape, you drag it out, and you can place it anywhere you want on the work plane. Now there's a few things that you can do with this shape. You can move it, and as you can see, it gives you the distance in millimeters. You can also resize it. So if I slightly change the view, I can change the width and the length of the shape right here. I can change the height. And I can actually, if I want, using this arrow up here, move the cube off of the work plane. You probably don't want to do that if you're designing something for a 3D printer um, without having something go to the bottom of it or there's going to be a lot of empty space. Um, you can also rotate the shape through all the different axes using these um, buttons. So now if I actually go and I look around, I can see this from all the different angles. I can lock this shape in place by clicking on this lock here. So that means that I won't accidentally edit anything if I'm putting something else in. I'm going to bring in another shape in just to show you one of the other things I can do here. Um, so maybe I want to put these shapes together and make them one, one funny looking shape. So what I do need to do is I need to go to the square and I need to the cube and unlock it. And I'm going to select all of my objects and click on this button here, which is group. Now they are one object and if I move them, they move together. I can also hide things if I want using that um, light bulb and I can bring them back using the light bulb. This button here, helps me if I want to ungroup them, so take them apart, and maybe I want to adjust them a little bit. So maybe this one I actually want um, up. And maybe I want it to be more like that. And then I can regroup them. So there you have it. There's some basic ways that you can combine some shapes on Tinkercad shapes on